Come on! Ah, there you go! Melt that health away! I think I'm just used to the hell effect. Oh my god. He bounced off? Really? Bro, that was not even a wall to wall hop off of. Can you please get up there? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, that would've been nice. There, I knew it. I knew it was that skill point, bro. I wasn't bugging. Was not bugging out. I knew what I was. Knew what I was talking about. All right, let's go fight the best boss in the game. That's a joke, by the way. For this one, I think I should have learned how to do the fast kill. I wouldn't have mind, minded. Because he can kill me in three shots. I guess don't get hit is the name of the game. Let me show you the latest and the greatest in mech technology! I fight you with my bare hands, but it's a lot easier this way. Come on, that should be it. Yes, sir! Uh... You're oh great. man! Great. Let's go. Oh, GGs, bro. Hello. Aren't you forgetting something? <sighs> Oops. <laughs> oh, I meant uh, after we free Angela. Thanks. Now, before you run off, take a look at this. I picked it out of Lizard Boy's pocket. Log entry 4792. Returning from Megacorp's distribution center. I'm beginning to suspect that Megacorp has lied to me. The extra-large decorative paperweights being stored there might actually be an enormous supply of proto-pets. Which might explain why the whole facility is guarded by ravenous mutant creatures. Their warehouse ship may hold as many as 10 million crates, and with 100 proto-pets per crate, that could be as many as, um, 3.5 zillion proto-pets. A secret shipment that large can only mean one thing. Megacorp is up to no good. I will confront them as soon as possible and demand a bigger cut of the action. Are they insane? The gotta like it. Far more dangerous than I had imagined. Do you suppose, Mr. Fizzwidget? We've wasted enough time on Fizzwidget already. I swear that crazy old man is not the same person I used to work for. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You used to work for Megacorp? Yes, in the genetics division. On the protopet? On fixing the protopet's flaws. And I was this close to succeeding when Fizzwidget suddenly pushed up the release date. <sighs> 
Is it worth disrupting the protopet shipments? It's a start. But to stop them for good, we're gonna need to break into Megacorp headquarters. Break in? How? I have an old Megacorp ID on my home planet. We'll split up then. Clank and I will go to the distribution facility. You go grab the ID. Break in? How? Come on, Ratchet. Like, you haven't broken into many, many... No. Let's keep going with what we got. Love is what I got. Whew. Remember that. Love is what I got. See if you can find any more news on the protopets. And now, Behind the Hero brings you the conclusion of our series on Captain Quark. As of this airing, the fugitive superhero has been missing for almost six weeks. Did he die heroically? Was he the victim of an overzealous fan? Or is he still out there somewhere? The galaxy may never know, but stay tuned for more baseless speculation and crackpot theories on Behind the Hero. Well, no more Quark. Good. It is almost time for RoboChef. Wait till we level up some more weapons and then I'll get a new weapon. It's that way and then it's that way. I wanna go this way. Oh wow! I thought I would did it again. And then you should have the mini rocket tube out. I know there was a what you will call it around here somewhere. A bolt. around here somewhere just don't remember where just don't remember exactly where it was <laughs> See, now I don't have to like walk around and hit the boxes I can just run and hit like this and then I'm good and I'm good there's a gold bolt around here somewhere On one of these flat, floating platform things. Is it that one? I can't remember which floating platform now. It's one you have to levitate through these two though. I don't think it's that one. I don't think you can make it that far. Up there. This.
Almost got stuck under it though there. A little bit of looking around. Everybody's doing well. Um, I invested in a waffle maker. Right? I gotta say, if you ever like live on your own or want to start cooking, invest in the cooking supplies, man. Like rice cookers, waffle makers, panini maker, uh, air fryer. You can go. You can do so much with so little. And then of not like you can feed yourself basically. Is what I'm trying to say here, and not really cook that much or that often, or have to cook that much or that often. You can make all your food and like all those things. It just makes your life easier. Air fryer, deep fryer is probably one of my favorite. I used to make so many like uh, deep fried Oreos in the deep fryer. That's cool. Uh, mini rocket. Another one around here? Or am I bugging? Log in. Mm. Oh, is it up here? Some of them I remember, some of them I do not remember at all. I guess I didn't remember that too long, too long. Go ahead. You've been doing me a favor. So Oh, sorry. It's just I thought you were one of them. Oh, dear, dear. What I'd give for even an ounce of their feral ignorance. A burden often accompanies self-awareness, sir. Living with the abject savagery of one's own kith and kin is quite more than one can bear sometimes. No! The torment of it all! I understand. I, too, am of a series designed to destroy. Oh. In that case, I have something that may interest you. But may I first humbly request a meager few bolts for food? Buy telescreen transmission for 40k. Yes. Lovely long time since I've eaten. Oh man, eats bolts. This is 
Darla Gratch, reporting live from Algon City, where Protopet Mania is in full swing. For those who've spent the past week in hypersleep, the Protopet is Megacorp's wildly popular bioengineered pet. Adorable, non-allergenic, and housebroken, fans of the creature have dubbed it the perfect companion. Between the Protopet's surprisingly low price tag and its lightning-fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough Protopets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. Bruh, all hell breaks out behind her. The entire population of that planet will be devoured. Unless we get there in time. Dang, my man Miko broke. If I would have bought the armor and the weapons, you wouldn't have had enough. This is what I mean by, like, they kind of not force you, but in a weird way, they want you to, like, yeah, you have all these weapons and all these items and stuff. That's great, but you also have to use your money for other things. Was it in here that there was a gold, a, a titanium bolt? I think it was here. This place definitely has a few though. I fat fingered the... Oh my god! The damage is real here, guys. Oh, Lord. Maybe armor is going to be a good idea soon. <laughs> do, 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 do. Stop being so hard headed with the armor. Do, 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 do. Hey, okay. That's no. If you uh, switch your gun right before it evolves, you skip the animation. Not saying I wanted to do it, but that's a good way to show it off, I guess. I forgot which one you gotta do first.
Isn't there one you gotta time? Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, this place is ass. We got one mini nuke. Get this message. Please meet me on my home world. Just so you know, I found my old ID badge. I'm pretty sure we can still use it to infiltrate Megacorp HQ, but you're gonna have to hurry. Before the protopets completely overrun us! Oh, and uh, sorry for the balloonogram. It was the only thing I could get off this We hope you enjoyed your galactic greeting. That Angela is quite resourceful. Yeah, she thinks of everything, doesn't she? She also appears to be in great danger. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, there's a continue point here. I need max. All right, so now now I can probably buy one more weapon. I really want the bouncer, bro. The bouncer do damage. Spider bot glove. I'm gonna need for gold bolts and stuff. The shield charger is OP. But you gotta level it up first. That's the only problem. I think I should go with the shield charger. It's a better option right now. Should get a level up soon on this, right? Come on, Jesus. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I was checking something. I do want to see. Oh, see what I mean? Just to die to the plot. Oh! Don't, 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 uh. Don't, uh, don't remind me. Um, why did it lag there? That was the wrong time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
First try. Let's go. Okay. These guys won't. I mean, no, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to put that in the air. Put that in the, put that in the atmosphere. Is this the map matter? Oh, this is a gadget. You need all of the parts to make the hypnomatic gadget. That's right, the hypnomatic. I forgot what it does though. Ash Bros tournament. Right now it's like a Pikachu. If you guys don't know, I also like playing Smash. I'm not amazing at the game. Anything. I just really like playing it. I've been playing Smash since I was a kid. I've been playing Smash since 64. That was my first Smash game. And then after 64, it was uh, Melee. And after Melee, I played a little bit for the Wii, but at that point I was in school. And I kind of just focused on school more because that was a little more important. And there's a skill point on this planet too, but I'll come back for it later. I just want to uh, I think the skill point is beating it with your fist. This one isn't destroying everything on the planet. I mean. I forgot the skill point. But yeah, first you gotta... I think it's you. Missed. That would probably would have been it. Come on. Anybody else play Smash? If you do, you know you can always let me know. If you, what are some of your favorite characters? I think this is the map Um, what was your first Smash game? Do you watch Smash tournaments? Do you have a favorite player? Uh, I know I have a few from Melee and from Ultimate. I don't know any the 64 players. The mapper reveals players. secret areas on your world map. The like secret that. areas are marked as green. Except for Mr. Don't Get Hit himself. Just don't get hit. That's right. I think there's a skill point for not um, getting hit here. I don't remember. And I think if you try to use the shield, it just goes out on the... 
I only got thirty-eight thousand dollars. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. This one is kind of difficult. Gotta follow the rainbow. Moving ahead, gotta keep moving on. My own ways to go. See, you got a skill point. Told you. Don't get hit you on the right. Hypno Matic, you need this. You need all of the parts to. That's the only way I think you can do all of uh that other board. All right, this is the. I kind of want to do my shield and the shooting arrow because the shield is powerful. Though. And these guys spawn, I think. from their own mouths like that. That's crazy. But yeah, you can just, uh, just sit back and relax. Not sit back and relax. They're going to war with the proto pets. I think, or they're going to war with me. You know, they're going to war with the prototypes. You see, I'm trying to get rid of them, the planet. What, dude, 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 you got, you got bigger fish to fry. Oh, they're the, they're the ones with the legs that still hit you. I think what I'm gonna try and learn, and the one thing I will want to learn moving forward, only for this game, is that movement tech that they have with the jetpack. You get to move so far and so fast. I think I'll practice that. Where the third game really did really well implementing more options for weapons. I really would like to get the shield to level up. It's not. It's hard to level up the shield, man. Shield has to kill enemies to level up.
Oh! Oh, you have to destroy all the things. Just to get the shit all the way up. There we go. A little bit of weapon farming. You know, quick, quick, quick little sheepinator farm. Now we can buy a new weapon if we need to. And the bouncer is what we're gonna get. Uh, shield, please. All dead. Oh no, they are not all dead. Stop. Now they're all dead. Um, Nucky, Nucky, Honestly. Let's put the seeker on. I won't need the cheap for a bit. Oh! Not Bamba. Oh, that's right, and I still have very low armor. The damage is gonna be brutal. I need the shield. Bouncer for a hundred thousand. That's what we need, man. That do damage. Let's save it for the bouncer. 
Save up for the bouncer. Sorry, I was thinking. Had a little thought, some thoughts going there. I'm just standing right there, bro. It's kind of wow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. For the proto pets. How do you have to fight here? You oh, but there is there is uh there is uh I remember this one. I remember this one. Because the water is funny. Why would they put this here? Why would they put that there? They put that there. That's the funny one. I remember that one. Yo, I've been watching, but on the phone, was talking to your cousin and uncle. Dude, that's fine. My cousin and uncle. I mean, Gilbert and little Gilbert? Oh, sorry for names. But, uh, yeah, those two. I think if you swim, is there a swim under? Oh, no, there isn't. Let's just go back. Um, but hopefully they're doing all right. I, I was speaking to uh, him the other, not not the littler one, but um, the older one, my uncle. I was speaking to him the other day. He called me when that uh, when that thing happened in Union Square, that giant riot. the hypnotizer here to like take let me see if I can do it does it work oh it's not letting me do it you have to stand in a certain spot oh and there's your Jack and Daxter plug right there which is funny and they're looking for the original I think oh, that is the boys 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 Hopefully having a great day. Uh, I am Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, and I have, I finally, there's something that I'm really proud about, so I guess I'll talk about it, because I am proud about it. I finally finished that Yu-Gi-Oh playthrough all the way through, got a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Meteor Beat Dragon, Song of Thunder. 
um, all these other cards. And then I finally beat the game yesterday, and I was able to edit everything and put it online. So it's on it's on my YouTube channel, which makes me feel good. You know, finally, it feels good when you're accomplishing something that you've talked about for a long time. You know, they were just kicking each other. Oh, they were trying to kick the proto stuff. Guys, guys. Oh, there's two over there's one over here. And you can't move forward unless all the proto are there. Oh, you guys up there. I remember when I was a kid I used to use the vaporizer for that. Your legs are still alive? Alright, oh, when I was about to put my thing on. They get rid of your shit fast. I'm thinking about it. I think there's a skill point for breaking everything in here, but I could be mistaken. Oh lord, they one-shot my shield away! I might die! Mm. Mm. 
I disagree with that death. <clears throat> Alright, let's treat, trade that for the bouncer. Let's get all our ammo back. Oh, shield ammo. I definitely need shield. It's like number one right now. Shield. Shield. I don't remember the bank one then. It was something to do with this area. I just don't remember what exactly. Oh, that's right. I think there's a skill point. Not a skill point. There's a... Oh, I need one more part for the Hypnomatic. That's what it is. That's why I can't use it. Oh, come on. We did this already. Got to get mini rocket ammo. died last time, right? Oh, yeah. What? Well, I could have hit him the red button. And I got mini. Someone who could use a hypnomatic. Okay. Just bring us the part, and we'll make it for free. Ah, uh, for a fee. A very small fee. <laughs> I don't have the hypnomatic. You need one more hypnomatic part. Yeah. 
At least I did all of that, so I'm gonna do that later. Right here. And I think that does mean pretty slow. But whatever. I like the fact that uh, some of my friends really are doing their best to support me. I, I like that, you know, because I do the same thing for my friends. So I guess it's one hand shakes the other kind of thing, you know, listen to their music, go to their events, buy their clothes. I do all of that. A lot of my friends are pretty creative. I think uh, towards like like when I want to start wrapping it up for today, I'll do a, a little bit of money grinding. So I'll probably go back to the arena. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll end it on that. I'll end today on going to the arena because uh, I like I said before. Mm, hold on. I do have uh, dinner with my friends later on today. Luigi versus Zero Suit Samus. Both of those characters are. I think. I think most characters are hard to fight against in Smash Bros. If you're fighting an opponent like that knows how to play the game and knows what they're doing, you're gonna have. You're gonna have time. To play that much. I don't think you can do this without the Hypnomatic, right? Enter factory. This guy, I think, gives you the Hypnomatic part. Somebody. Oh, and if you ever had a problem with the Yetis here, hold on, I'll let this. Oh, man. It won't budge. Violence is not the answer. Can you move this rock, sir? I am able. And? Patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yes. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. The holistic resonance of moonstones. Um, basically he's saying, bring me stones. Bring me stones. And I'll, um, help you out. But yeah, after all the work that I put in for that Yu-Gi-Oh game, it only came down, I think I played way more than five hours. I tell you that much, way more than four hours and 34 minutes. That's what the edit came down to. Because the farming alone for that game took maybe five hours. So there's an extra like 10 hours that's not included in that gameplay. Because like I said, I had did all that farming for all those cards. Did I get all my ammo? Yeah, all those cards off stream. And right now I'm just like fighting High Shin and a few of the Setos to just get uh, some more of the rarer strong cards like Skull Knight, uh, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, things like that. Well, hold on.
what I wanted to say earlier is if you ever had a problem on this board with the Yetis and you're thinking to yourself oh man these Yetis are really strong you're right you're 100% right um, from what I remember I think they said they programmed the Yetis wrong and they're stronger they're like the strongest enemies in the game They don't give you any uh, gems with these hikers that give you gems. Okay, two shots, two shots. Four shots. Five shots with the mini. Six. Six shots with the mini. Nah, bro. I don't remember how many that guy said he needed, but oh, oh yeah, they did. I think they remastered. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is the I think it's the PlayStation remaster. They might have fixed it. I could be wrong though. Oh no, oh no, I need the shield. All right, we're just gonna kind of run through this. I'm not gonna fight those dudes. They take way too much ammo right now. I can get eight more. Oh, what am I doing? I have the boots. With the moonstone, they're gonna be most around, me. They'll surround me. For it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. Look at him. <laughs> Gee, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a hypnomatic. You may have it in exchange for more moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. 16 moonstones for the Hypnomatic. I have one, and you can't get the 16 yet because you're, um... You basically stopped. I remember this part. This part is not easy with the glider. Remember, up is down and down is up right now. For this for some reason. This reminds me of doing the Visibomb thing in Oh no! Again, up is down, down is up. Uh in the first Ratchet and Clank game. I can't fit through this hole. I don't know why I risked it though. I don't know why I risked it though. <laughs> but you can't fit through that hole. 
Can I can I fix my options here? No, I just quick select pause on vibration on. That's it. Not let me fix my up down down up there. Which for me is confusing. I don't know how other people can just handle those controls all day. Up being down, down being up. Not super hard, but hard. Is that the only M on Seeker ammo and mini nuke ammo? Again, this puzzle is way better than any trespasser. And they give you the thing so you don't have to take it out every time. I'm gonna wait, because I already fucked up. <laughs> I already fucked up. Got it. armor um now it's more expensive the most expensive armor in the game is this one best one carbonox carbonox armor and i think you can change your armor pieces can you and I, do you have to buy the other armors before you buy the carbonox or can you just buy the carbonox armor I don't know. It's something I have to look into later. Oh. Nah, I messed up. Felt it. That's annoying. To get back. Really? I did it twice. Oh no, I didn't mean to go that far back! Uh, you have to connect all the light sources. No, no, not that way. No. That way. Oh, I was almost there. That last turn is kinda iffy. This one. No! There we go. That opens the thing so now you can get your 16. I am just 
upsetting the whole Yeti population. Uh, dudes! Save all the ones that I gotta kill the living boys for. Uh, this? Oh! One shield left. Sixteen. And I'll just get one for a little bit of cash. So, oh, there's, uh, there's a titanium bolt there anyways. I'll get that, too. Automatic. Platinum bolt. Oh, if I fall in the water, I'm dead. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We'll just get anyone we'll see along the way. Is there one more? Yes. Really? The aim is that bad? Oh, right here. Gotta catch up. Oh, there's another one! Oh, sweat! How many did I get? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't slap me! Can we make it? Can we make it? Look, first, first... Get shield. Then, then we're gonna run back to home point. Uh, hello? We've got more Moonstones. No, you have not. What? Existence is a lie. Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some Moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. There. I knew it was something with this freaking robot. I couldn't remember. I could not remember, but yeah. Here's the platinum bolt. I could have swore there wasn't a a guidebook and everything was like off the seat of your pants. Oh yeah, you did need the hypnomatic for this. See? This receiver bot has a blaster attack. Press circle to shoot enemies. Where? To exit the robot, press triangle. Oh! They put me from that far away! Cheater, cheater, lemon eater. Okay, 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 guys. I know you see me. I know you see me. But imagine if you. Oh, you're I don't even know the words. It's just like 
little dance moves. Oh, if you die, you gotta stop in the beginning. I ain't doing that. And your nano ticket. Is there a platinum bolt? Down here somewhere. No. Dang, look at all those moonstones I need to get. Um. Oh god, I remember this from the first Ratchet and Clank. If you were there for when I got the skill point, you know. You know how I feel about moving lasers. I knew there was a, a, a platinum bolt in here. I wasn't bugging. They try to get you. They try to get you. You can't always depend on the map on Matic. Because uh, it didn't show this as a green spot. In the thing. See, your memory suits you well sometimes. Even as you're becoming an older gentleman as I am um because if I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh Forbidden Memories as a kid and that game came out 20 odd years ago and I think I remember playing that when I was at least 9 or 10 you can just do the math from there um, this is a continue point right wondering what I'm doing here. I'm trying to level up the shield right now because the... Oh, I only have one shield ammo left? I think these uh, fur gods here are infinitely spawning. All right, let's just move on with the game. No, it's right there. Oh man, it is right there. I really don't want to see what happens when you die. I mean, it did say continue points. So Dang, I should've, I should've got more. I usually get more ammo too. But yeah, you can level up weapons hey, in that one spot. Nice really. digs. Yeah. Oh, well. It's a little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet? Watch this. Mommy, where do protopets come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here, in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do protopets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protopet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, that'll shut them down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lube? Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. 
It, this will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? Well, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. Just be careful. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about Hot Pockets, but my uh, store that I go to around here, I guess it's like a 99 cent store. I get like cleaning supplies and stuff from them. They had a freezer malfunction, and basically every single item in their freezer was half off or more. Um, just to clear out the stock so they can get like a maintenance guy to come in. So I ended up getting like a bunch of stuff from them because it was pretty cheap. All right, the plan is, well, put a timer on for your hot pockets. That's the first thing. Um, second thing, probably get up to the last boss of the game. Don't beat the last boss. Get up to the last boss, and the same thing as before. Uh, get the skill, get all the skill points, get all the titanium or bolts or whatever, and then. Oh, I got it. ammo for everything. And the other games, they have buy ammo for all as an option, which eliminates having to remember what guns you need ammo for, which is great. No. I think this is one of those boards they make you want to do everything. This receiver bot can hypnotize other robots. To hypnotize another robot, oh, aim, then press circle. Oh god. Wait, wait. Oh, I got it. They're stronger than me. They do so much damage. I gotta put some gadgets in my quick select bar. It's trying to get to me. Blitz Cannon used to be my favorite gun. I think now it's not even close.
would if we would just shoot fast, it'd be better. Part. I think this is a clank part. Oh no. It's not. I think those are the only two weapons I was using, plus the shield. Can't you knock him off with the bouncer?
sniper to the face. Oh, oh, I'm better. Okay, I gotta just do this with. Hold on. Hey, I got a seeker. Struggling. Oh, I risked it. Gonna have to use the God is like the heavy lancer. I feel like up is always the worst way to go. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. No, that's the wrong way. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Oh, man. This
my timing. How bad is my timing? Oh, I got one down. Oh, sorry. Uh, my friends texted me. Got just oh that. I forgot where I was at too. Damn, I'm in a tight spot where I'm at. I have like nothing that will reach him from here. Bouncer don't reach, right? What do? What do? Oh hail the bouncer! Oh hail the bouncer! Like, the bouncer don't reach from here. It do reach. It do. You just gotta believe. Protopet. From the Protopet line of Protopet. That's a lot of enemies. Yeah, there's a there's a 
platinum bolt up there. No, 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 I didn't mean to. I was just trying to see. I was just trying to see. I see, I see. That one is... Try to get Try to get okay. this, this game, they make them a little bit easier. A little bit as possible. When did you guys come? I just went through like a whole team of people. This is it, the protopet duplication room. I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork! Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived! Captain Quark! All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> Uh, but, but Sir, I do not mm. understand. Mr. Fizz Widget! Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. The plot All twist. All right, just what the f is going on? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! They don't notice that. It's showtime. <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this your darkest of hours to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? Oh. As you know. A living menace called the Proto-Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, 
have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopath threat once and for all. That's my elixamorph. I invented... <clears throat> Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Does that elixir actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. I know I can do it. I've seen it done. I just gotta try and do it myself. I've never practiced this myself, so... health away I think I skipped the final cutscene by mashing the X button there um, so sorry if you guys wanted to see that but yep there you go you can quick kill the last boss of the final game I can I have another save if I wanted to I could just edit in the the final cutscene if it's that important, but it's not that important. There you go, that's the end of the game. Hands, rounds of applause, great game. Had to get a two cycle there for the last boss though. We got all the skill points except for, um, all the skill points except for the ones for all the weapons and all the health and so oh. what do you like to do for fun oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> so whatever happened to quark i heard he was working at megacorp so you fellas new here you boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. 
Well, duty calls. That's a mini cutscene you get if, you know, you just wait out the credits. So we're going to wait out the credits and we'll move on from there. So just give it a second, guys. If you have any opinions on the game, you know, feel free to let me know in the chat. What do you think about that final boss quick kill? I thought that was cool. Um, I never did that as a kid. Because that final boss can be a headache. Um... But now it's all over. You know. It was a good game. I really love this game. Now we'll just do challenge mode. Once we're done with challenge mode, uh, we'll move on to the third game. Challenge mode and obviously 100%ing. Um, we'll move on to the third game in the series. And then from there, I think I'm going to take a quick break from the Ratchet and Clank series. Because I think by then I'm gonna probably be going back to work vacation. My vacation will be over. Um, but, you know, it's good while it lasted. And pets. Oh yeah, my pets. No sheep were harmed in the making of this game for the most part. The one that was had it coming. All right, fellas. Nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? Oh, wait. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Congratulations. You have a... Uh, you have the choice of go to go back in time before you defeated Quark or play a new game in challenge mode. Challenge mode is a good way to earn tons of bolts by playing a tougher version of the game. You get to keep all of your weapons and you can upgrade them further by purchasing mega upgrades at the vendor. Check out the special menus for new features in challenge mode. All right. 